I think we cannot talk about Malay as if they are homogeneous ethnic group. Even if you talk about the rural Malays, I think the moderator would have to hear me talking in the dialect of Rambau and the Chris Milan talking in the ceramah dalam bahasa orang Rambau. I don't speak, you know, in the way that I spoke, I'm speaking to you tonight. It has got to be, you know, contextualized. No, you, you, you know that very well. Now, <clears throat> um, my point is, first, you have got to segmentize Malay. You're talking about rural Malay, urban Malay, educated Malay, Malay that have got access to information, Malays that are, and there are certainly hardcore Malays that you do whatever, they just go, they just go, um, no, whatever. These are, uh, what Abang Rahmat Sabu would say, ini korafat pemikiran ataupun what they say as the, you know, these are doctrinal thing of the Malay, the Malay psyche, that because if they don't vote UMNO, then GNP will rule the country. And the Christian is going to come in and, and take over and they will change the constitution. So, fellow friends, I think that in, there must be, in, in, there must be first importance of segmentizing your voters and addressing specific measures according to their needs. Now, in this regard, I would I've, I've, and just to add all of the, all that has been said, uh, which I you know, more, more or less agree with all my fellow colleagues, I would want to bring you a story of the second Khalif of Islam, who is Omar al fatah If you don't mind, I will spend another three minutes on this, perhaps. It is the practice of the second Khalif to go around Medina to see for himself the state of welfare of the people. In one occasion, he went to a house, and his house may be crying. And Omar knocked on the door, and there you are, a mother, you know, stand by the door to say that they just don't have food to eat, to feed the baby. And the mother is actually you know, uh, boiling the water to, as if it is milk that, it, that she is boiling. Omar is one of those promised paradise, one of the ten that has been promised paradise. Sorry, I forgot to tell the story to you. And look at the practical solution of Omar. Being one of those promised promise paradise, Omar did not get a mother to come look I am promised baptized by the prophet. So come with me to have a special prayer. You know, I'm going to supplicate prayers and you're going to say I mean. That should have been the solution of a spiritual leader of Omar to, who is promised paradise. And his words and his prayers are immediately answered by heaven. By God Almighty. But Omar, true to his leadership, of an Islamic leadership did not get the mother to pray with her with him. But instead went back and gave cereal and milk to the mother. And not only that, Omar cooked for the mother. And they then enjoyed the meal cooked by Omar. Now, this is the point that I would like to stress on solutions that are practical, solutions that immediately get engaged with, you know, especially, as you said, the rural areas. As Dr. Maria has emphasized, talk is one thing, words are another. But getting down on ground zero, serving in the most humble of ways, delivering, of course, you cannot beat them because they have a lot more money. But the fact that this is what the embodiment of Islamic principles and teaching yeah, come with leaders getting down to meet and serve the constituencies and the rock. And I think Amana, you know, we want to make sure that we just not only talk big words, big Islam. 
but more importantly, we deliver through the example shown by Omar. Prayer is one thing, but delivering justice, delivering solutions to the people, I think that is what will cause the rural Malays and all Malays to believe that we are a competent, capable group that could bring about change, especially to the Malays that are looking at us. Because they're not against policies of the government, but the abuses of NEP, the new economic policies and all others. This is what we are against. And we must provide, if I may conclude, we must provide not just better, but a different solutions to the problems of the Malays. As the question is on Malaysia, but as well, solution to all these crises that the problems face by this nation. I thank you. And that is the challenge on Amana and as well Pakistan Harapan. Thank you. Okay, thank you.